Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey and welcome to Edexcel IGCSE exam questions on standard form. I'm going to start off with some common exam questions and then I'm going to move towards tricky exam questions at the end of this video. Pause the video, try the questions yourself and then watch the solutions. Let's get into it. And you can't get more common than just straight up convert these into standard form. So I want the number to be between 1 and 10. So ideally we want it to be 1.39 because that's between 1 and 10. So I need to move the decimal point from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spaces to get there. So this is 1.39 times 10 to the power 6. And this is a smaller number, so I know it's going to be a negative power. Again, I want this number to be between 1 and 10, so I'm going to use 5. And to get to 5, I need to move the decimal point 1, 2, 3 spaces. So this will be times 10 to the negative 3. Another top tip, if, you're, if you've got small numbers like this, the power to the negative will always be just exactly the number of zeros doesn't work the other way around though for larger numbers. Okay, so we're asked to write this as an ordinary number. So we've got the number at the moment 8.0. And I need to move this four spaces to make it larger. So one, two, three, four. Fill in any gaps with zeros. And I have the number 80,000. Okay, I'm going to use my calculator for the next one. I'm just going to type it in and see what I get. So I could do brackets 3.5. This button down the bottom here um, is times 10 to a power. So I can press that and then press 5 afterwards. Divided by open brackets 7. Again, that times 10 to the power of 8. Close brackets. And I get... 5 times 10 to the minus 4. So that gives me my answer straight away in standard form. Lovely. 5 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay, next question. We've got a little bit of context this time. But we're asked to write this as an ordinary number. So I write the number here. Times 10 to the 7 means I need to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0. So that is 7, 1, 8, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Put the commas in. This tells me it's 71 million. Next, I'm asked to find the total volume of the four oceans. So I will take my calculator and I will just add these up. So I'll do 1.88 times 10 to the 7 plus... 3.1 times 10 to the 8 plus 2.64 times 10 to the 8 plus 7.18 times 10 to the 7. And I get 664. 6 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. And that is that question done. It says the volume of the South China Sea is this. Write that in standard form. Again, I want it between 1 and 10. So I do 9.88. And I have to move that 1, 2, three, four, five, six spaces, so it's times 10 to the six. Next question, still very common question this. Uh, you get given uh, a few sets of uh, standard form, and it says find the difference between the average crowd attendance for Barcelona and the average crowd attendance for Monaco. So the word difference means to subtract. So I take... Um, uh, Barcelona, which is the larger one, uh, times 10 to the 4, and I subtract Monaco, which is the smaller one, 
uh, which is times 10 to the 3. And I get a difference of 67,500. Antonio says the average crowd attendance for Chelsea is approximately 50 times that for Oxford United. Is Antonio correct? Well, if I take um, Oxford's and I times it by 50, I should get roughly Chelsea's if Antonio is correct. So I have this is Oxford's and if I times it by 50, I get 415 with three zeros. And in standard form, that is 4.15 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that is, that is, that is actually significantly bigger um, than Chelsea's. So we would say, no, um, Antonio is not correct. Question 10, again, we've got all this information and it says work out the difference between the surface area of the Atlantic and the surface area of the ocean. So again, you go to your calculator, the larger one is the uh, uh, is the Atlantic, so it's times 10 to the 8, where Indian is times 10 to the 7. So you do um, the Atlantic minus, because we're looking at difference, the Indian, and we get 374 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. And in standard form, that would be 3.74, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It says the surface area of the Pacific Ocean is K times the surface area of the Arctic. Work out the value of K. Well, that means I'll need to do the Pacific, then divided by the Arctic to get the scale factor. So I'll go to my calculator and I would do the Pacific Ocean and I would divide that by the Arctic and that would give me roughly 11 times it's the nearest whole number 11 okay and here is the tricky question you need to um, find the expression in terms of n for a to the 3 over 2 so this is equal to uh, 25 times 10 to the 14 n to the power of 3 over 2. Now, when I have uh, two things multiplied together like this, raised to the power, I can do the power separately on each part. So I will do 25 to the power of 3 over 2. And that will be the same as square rooting which will give me five and then cubing, so I should be getting 125. And then with this part with the 10 here, we've got a power and then it's raised to another power. So using indice rules, we just multiply the two powers together. So I'll do 14 multiplied by three over two. And that gives me 21 and there's an N there. So it's times 10, to the power of 21 n. Now I need this in standard form. So this part of the number needs to be between 1 and 10. So what I'll do is I will write 1.25. And in order to do that, I've divided this part of the number by 100. Now, in order to keep it the same number, I'll need to do the opposite of that. So I'll need to times this part by 100. Because if I divide by 100 and times by 100, essentially I'm not doing anything to change the size of the number, I'm just rewriting it in a different way. 
So this becomes 10 to the 21 n, but times by 100 is the same as times by 10 to the power of 2. And when we have the same base here, in this case 10, we would add the two powers together. So I'll get 1.25 times 10 to the power of 21 n plus 2. And we are done. That's standard form complete. Remember that standard form must be given with a number between 1 and 10. And then it's always 10 to the power of something. Hope you enjoyed that. Like, subscribe, share, and then move on to the next topic.